This is damage control. DEA works with the CDC Opioid Rapid Response Program to make sure patients can get the care they need if a doctor is unable to provide treatment due to alleged criminal activity. Now, if you follow us at the doctor patient forum, you know that my colleague Bev was the first person to learn about the Opioid Rapid Response Program. Nobody was supposed to know about it. Bev uh, became very involved with this program along with Carrie, another researcher of ours, and the CDC banned both Bev and Carrie, or Bev at least, from participating in any webinars discussing the ORRP, and Bev foiled the CDC, and that's how we learned about this. This is, this is damage control right now. I contacted the Senate Judiciary Committee. I've emailed them several times and I said we have sufficient evidence to prove that this program only exists in theory and that both the DEA and the CDC have misappropriated millions and millions of dollars that were specifically supposed to be used for this program. The DEA arrests these doctors and there's nothing but abandoned pain patients in the country. Millions of them. And now they're trying to save face. I don't think so. I don't think so. We will continue to search for a lawyer. We believe we have sufficient evidence to prove that this is just more lipstick on a pig. And let's not forget about Danny Elliott and his wife, who both blew their head off after the DEA shut down Danny's doctor. Thank you for supporting our efforts at the Doctor Patient Forum. To learn more about the CDC Opioid Rapid Response Program, Head to YouTube, the Doctor Patient Form YouTube channel, go to our website and listen to all of the podcasts that were done about this. You're liars, you're lying sons of bitches, you're doing damage control.